This is Germany in the late Jurassic near the coast. There is a predator here preparing itself to catch its unsuspecting prey. But it'll have to be careful. Because there are bigger predators down here. There are lots of animals living today. And many of them do amazing things. We can witness their remarkable behavior today. But what about extinct animals? How do we figure out their behavior? Scientists can infer behavior based on an animal's body plan, but finding conclusive evidence for not only the kinds of things they did, but a specific thing that happened over the course of a few seconds or minutes millions of years ago is very hard. But it has been done before. One such fossil concerns a pterosaur called Rampharynchus and a type of extinct fish called Aspidorhynchus. Rampharynchus is a very well-known pterosaur, partly because they are found in marine deposits, places where fossilization is more likely to occur. These images are by a talented paleontologist and paleoartist named Mark Witten. He and other paleontologists have come to the conclusion that because Rampharynchus fossils are found in these deposits, and we know they ate fish, due to some well-preserved fossils that might have been similar to gulls in their lifestyle, sitting on the shore and then diving into the water to catch their prey. However, even though that it's a good inference and likely to be true, it is still talking about the kinds of things they did, not a specific thing that happened. But this fossil does show a specific thing that happened, a rampharynchus that seems to have been in the process of being eaten by an Aspidorhynchus. Unfortunately for both of them, in the struggle they sank to the toxic bottom, died, and became preserved. This is a fascinating piece of behavior, preserved in astonishing detail. It perhaps makes these past creatures a little bit easier to compare to the animals that we live with today. One of the most amazing things about it is that the pterosaur, as pointed out by some, might have caught a smaller fish before being eaten by the bigger fish. A piece of a food chain preserved in one fossil. And now, I've decided to make my own reconstruction of the pterosaur. as it catches a fish just before a bigger fish catches it. <laughs>